Welcome back, everybody, to our continuing live broadcast of the 777X first flight. The airplane took off at 10.09 this morning from Payne Field. It's been flying around the skies of Washington for the last four hours, and you can see it here on final approach at Boeing Field in Seattle. Yep, let's just watch that airplane land. Very first landing of the 777X. So for the last four hours, the airplane, uh, the pilots have been exercising the triple X's systems and controls as part of a detailed test plan. Yeah, let's uh, let's take a look at where the airplane's been flying today. We took out a pain field. Oh, let me stop. They're looking. Uh, wingtips are folding right now. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's thank great. You. Look at those wingtips folding up. That's great. And Ted, that's automatic. Yeah, I'm landing, it's automatic. Uh, they get below 50 knots, and then we tips are full. Very cool. So as I mentioned before, this is the map of <laughs> where the airplane flew today. We took off from Payne Field, went over to the east, did some testing up there, as Josh mentioned, about four-hour flight. And then the aircraft has um, come and landed here at BFI, just watching it roll down the runway. Yeah, these are beautiful images. So we'll just tell you, uh, as you watch this video, you have Josh Green, Emily Sanchez, Ted Grady, one of our uh, Boeing test pilots here. Ted, uh, looking at that map and seeing the flight path, how, how did they choose that? It, it mostly it's determined by weather and airspace. Uh, we have some agreed upon routes with air traffic control and you want to get away from a you know, busy arrival pass into Seattle. So uh, generally it's you know, northern Washington going east-west, and that's generally what they did, stayed out of the arrival pass, and then tried to stay at a convenient place for our chase airplane to be able to drop into Moses Lake, refuel, and then come and catch them uh, without wasting a lot of time or fuel. We saw a little circle around what looked like Mount Rainier. Is that like a, yeah. a bonus for I, you guys? I think that's probably an essential part of every first flight, get a, get a, a hero <laughs> shot in front of Rainier. <laughs> Can you tell us a little, a, a little bit about what they've been doing in the air for the last four hours? Yeah, sure. I, you know, after initial takeoff, as we spoke uh, yesterday, uh, assessing the state of the airplane, doing some systems checks, having the chase airplane look them over, make sure everything's looking good, and then they just work through their test points in that uh, first flight uh, test plan, and uh, then they hit, hit a point where uh, it was time to come back based on fuel and time in the air, and uh, they really accomplished everything they needed to for this flight. And Ted, can you share um, some of what you were doing after takeoff today and monitoring what the airplane was? I, I was doing? in the telemetry room just listening as all the, uh, the, the smart folks in there were uh, monitoring the airplane and uh, tracking the, the flight. Um, it, it was good to hear the, you know, it, we're, we have radio communication with the pilots and uh, listening to, to Van and Craig, they're very pleased with the way the, way the airplane be behaved. It uh, behaved as expected. Uh, it, it, it kind of validated uh, the initial validation of uh, some of those pre-flight uh, simulator sessions where we uh, practice this profile. So both uh, Emily and I have seen this airplane a lot in our jobs here at Boeing and seeing it take off this morning, we both had chills. What, what was that moment like for you? Uh, it's exciting. It's uh, been a, a, a long time coming and we're all excited to see it get in the air. And it's really, like I said, the, the start of the flight test program. So it, it's the kickoff. We're ready to get going and start testing. Very cool. So for people who might not know on the webcast, the aircraft is taxiing now down Boeing Field. Um, can you give us a little taste of where it's going and how it's getting there? Yeah, sure. So it, it, it landed on, uh, to, on runway 14 right, and it cleared it. I didn't catch it. It cleared it at the, at the last uh, taxiway before that. Now it's just coming up the parallel taxiway Bravo, and it's going to come to the north end of the uh, taxiway there and then turn into Boeing Field, and, and then they'll get tucked into parking. So there were some comments online. People were asking about kind of the differences between yesterday and today, why we were able to take off today versus yesterday. I know you touched on that a little bit with us on the air, but um, just for folks on the webcast who maybe didn't catch that, can you explain a little more about the winds and the ceiling? And sure. Yeah, what a difference a day makes, right? Yeah. You know, the weather today was consistently, you know, the winds were below t uh, 10 knots, like 5 to 
to eight and, and kind of uh, swirling around out of the west. So we certainly were within our weather parameters and it made it for a nice uh, takeoff and had the ceiling of visibility for uh, Chase to be right there for the airborne pickup, which is great. That's what we want. So where do you guys go from here? What's the next phase of testing after today? It yeah, will continue uh, initial airworthiness testing, clear the envelope, uh, and that will eventually allow uh, the full test crew to be on the airplane, all the engineers in the back, and then we'll well, work into our, our Boeing development testing, do all the system testing, you know, performance, and, and through the whole program, uh, and then we'll bring the FAA on, and that will be uh, certification testing when they're on board. So we had uh, talked a little bit yesterday, as you just mentioned, about having the engineers in the back of the airplane. Today, it's just the pilots, right, That's for right. this first flight? That's right. The first few flights are just the two pilots. And that's uh, by design. Uh, we always want to be as safe as possible. Not that it's uh, more or less safe and more people on. You just don't want to expose more people than you need to. Makes sense. Van Cheney, our chief 777X pilot, in the left seat in the flight deck today, and uh, Craig Bobbin, Boeing's chief pilot, in the right seat. That's right. Yep, Van did the takeoff. I didn't see who did the landing. I expect he did. Uh, and then they both traded off and had some uh, time flying the airplane to, to assess airborne. They must have been having some fun out there. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> if you summed up today, I'm sure they had a great time. And a sense of relief to just get started with the next phase of the program. It's great. Now we can all get to work on that. Wow, I just love watching that airplane taxi down the runway with the wingtips folded up. Yeah, it's, it's a shot of the pilots. <laughs> <laughs> it is a good-looking airplane. A little longer than the 777-300ER. Engines are a little bigger around. Let's get closer to us. We are on the north side of the field. It's coming to the hangar here. So we're waiting to see this bird any second. Yeah, I think the plan is for them to stop just short of turning in here, and they'll shut down there and get towed in. You can see the, uh, the crew with the tug at the very north end of the taxiway. Up, oh, and there she is.